Hi, I'm Bill with Zamp Solar. Uh, this is my new travel trailer, and I'm going to demonstrate to you how to install our Zamp Solar Deluxe Hardwire Kit today. Um, we've laid out everything that you'll need to do the install. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit about the install to you as we go along, but I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, why I choose the size of system that I've chosen and um, you can make your decisions from there but I'm just going to explain why I did the system that I'm doing right today. Um, I have a family member that uses a CPAP machine so my consumption is a little bit more than normal usage so I've chosen um, our deluxe kit with 320 watt of a solar system that's 260 watt panels. Um, and as you can see, there's laid out before me all the tools and everything that you'll need to do this. Now, our kits come complete with everything you'll need to install them, except for uh, the sealant that you'll be using to seal and the fasteners that you're going to fasten the solar to the roof with. Everything else that you need comes in the kit, uh, cabling, butt connectors, mounting brackets, everything. So... Uh, Let's get started. Okay, so here's the front of my travel trailer. Um, um, the reason I'm using the front of my travel trailer is because up on the roof I have a lot of roof space for my panels. And being that my batteries are on the tongue of the travel trailer, that gives me the shortest run for the wiring system that I need. So I'm just gonna go from the panel straight down to the controller and then from the controller right to the batteries. Okay, so we're ready to get started doing the installation, but it's important that you realize that the placement of your three-port roof cap, um, you need to set this out and think about how you're going to place everything in your travel trailer, such as where you're going to route the wiring, where you're going to put the three-port roof cap, and where you're going to place your panels. Now you kind of want to get that puzzle put together before you start drilling any holes and put in any wire. So give it a little thought before you get started and I'm sure things will be just fine. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to explain the three port roof cap to you because um, we're going to place this pretty much first. Now we've already pulled some wiring inside where I'm going to pull my wire through the, the rooftop into a cabinet through some um, conduit that we found. So it made it pretty easy for me to pull the, the wire through. Sometimes you may have to mount that wiring on a wall inside a cabinet and then go down uh, uh, to the controller and then from there to the battery. However you need to do that, you can figure that out before you uh, start placing your items. But uh, the easiest way is the best way. We recommend setting the controller at least six to, six to nine feet maximum from the battery. You can go a little bit more than that, but not too much. We recommend six to nine feet controller to the battery. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is the main cable. This is the uh, large cable that goes from the roof cap to the controller and then from the controller to the batteries. You have 25 feet of this in your kit, so um, don't exceed that length because this is the proper gauge of wire for the length of runs that you can go between your panels to your controller, to your battery. You don't want to exceed this length. So make sure you have plenty of this cable in the whole system when you're going uh, through the installation process. As you can see, I'm already started pulling this wire and I have it tucked behind this wall. So I'm gonna take this portion and, and up in here in my cabinet, I'm gonna drill a hole through to the ceiling so I can put this through and connect it to my uh, three port roof cap up on the on the roof so that's where I'm, I'm going with this and then I'm going to run it to the controller down inside a, a cabinet or an outside storage compartment uh, down below next to my inverter because I really don't need my my control panel inside but that's going to be your preference if you want your control panel inside you can put it wherever you want you can flush mount it or uh, or top mount it to the wall so uh, we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you uh, after we drill this hole where the three port roof cap is going to go.
Okay, so now we're ready to set our three-port roof cap and our panels now that we've got everything wired up, up top. Uh, so just remember that when uh, you want to set your panels up and get the mounting feet on your panels before you put them on the roof. So, and as a rule, basically, you see that the, the panels come in a cardboard box. So what I do is make sure that you don't just take the panel out of the box and put it up there and start wiring. Because once this gets into the sun, it's going to start powering right up and you don't want any sparks because this is going to create electricity as soon as it sees the sun. So what I do is I'm just going to cut the edge of the box so it just covers that panel and I can still keep my panel. See, I've just got I'm making a cardboard lid to cover this panel so it doesn't produce electricity and I'll just keep it taped onto the panel as I'm hooking everything up up on the roof. Alright, so as you can see, I've placed my panels on the roof where I want them. Um, I've marked the mounting brackets with a black marker just to make it easy because I'm going to take those up and I'm going to put Cicaflex or Dicor, whichever you prefer, um, in that area. And then I'm going to place the panels back down and put the screws into the roof and then Cicaflex or Dicor over those screws. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to uh, wire up the panels. Now, Zamp Solar provides everything you need in your kit. The wiring, the butt connectors, the mounting bracketry, all the hardware you need, except for the uh, screws that you're going to screw the, the, the brackets into the roof with. Because all manufacturers make their roofs differently, then you would need to call your local or the manufacturer and ask what kind of fasteners should you use to put the, uh, the, the panels on the roof with. So I went with stainless steel uh, number 10 uh, screws um, and they are three quarter inch. That's going to be just fine for this application. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the three port deluxe box um, I've got three ports here, but I only have two panels. Now if you look on my roof, I have plenty of, of space for another panel if I want in the future. And, and instead of having to rewire everything, all I need to do is plug it into here. So you would place a third panel, um, set it on the roof just like you are these two, and then at that point you just plug it in. No wiring or anything is needed after that. So we're going to go ahead and wire this up, and uh, we'll... Uh, Go back to our next segment and you'll see how this is going to be wired. Okay, so we've got our uh, three-port roof cap wired up. As you can see, we have a 30-amp self-resetting breaker in here. Uh, um, the wiring goes as such. The, the positive terminal of your wiring that's going down through the roof gets put on the opposite post of the red wiring because it's basically, this is positive you got to read through it um, through the circuit here so you're going to put this on the silver post the positive goes on the silver post and then your negative goes on the uh, metal plate post right here which is already connected so you just take this nut off put the negative there tighten it all back down and then you're ready to set your three port roof cap into place as such so basically here's what I'm going to do um, I've got it set in place and I have it marked so now that I know where it's going, I'm going to put my layer of Cicaflex or Dicor, whichever you prefer. And then I'm going to place the cap on the roof. You want to get it down in there real good. Make sure you got a decent seal. And then I'm going to take the uh, three quarter inch stainless steel number 10 screws and I'm going to put a screw 
in each one of these holes. We uh, installed the three-port roof deluxe cap. Um, so I ran my wire from the roof down into the compartment where I've mounted my controller. Um, I've mounted the controller to this uh, piece of wood here. And behind it, I installed the uh, breaker and wired it in and then uh, went down through the floor um, along the railing and to the battery. So I've got this all hooked up. Um, I plugged in the panels up top. So you can actually see that the controller is charging. My batteries were down a bit. So you can actually see that working. So that's how you install our deluxe kit. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thanks and have a great day.